Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, or in this case, ranking them, then consider hitting that subscribe button. So September has come to an end. We're definitely filming this in October. We have the spooky vibes going. I'm super bold with this black lipstick. If you saw my last video, which is the Venom Let There Be Carnage uh, review, I did talk about the lighting. We're trying something different. The lights over there look like blobs, so I had to turn some of them off. We're gonna see how they look here. We're still playing with them. I'm terrible when it comes to lighting. As always, anything that I did review within the month will be in the description box down below. And stick around for the end of the video because I do have an announcement on what's to come for this month. But let's go ahead and get on with these nine uh, movies and see where I rank them. Okay, you guys, so first off would be Cinderella, the newest live action adaptation. Of course, there are many, many other Cinderella movies way way better than this one unfortunately this particular adaptation just did not do it for me i am going to go with you tried on it now for this particular version they did decide to go for the musical direction of it um i know in other cinderella adaptations we do have them singing here or there they maybe don't even sing at all this one they just decided to go for the pop music of today and they mixed it into the story and I just wasn't here for it. I know there are some people that did really like that they use music of, you know, today. I just don't think it worked within the story. I definitely would have preferred for them to have original songs for it. I definitely would have preferred for them not to auto-tune everybody's vocals. I just wasn't here for it. Okay, we're gonna move on. I do have a review. This is one of the ones I have a review on. Up next would be Netflix original uh, movie Kate or girl version of John Wick. Yes, we're gonna be doing a John Wick comparison here as we do per any movie that has assassins in it. Now this does star Mary Elizabeth Winston and Woody Harrison. Uh, Mary Elizabeth is who plays Kate. She's an assassin and she's a pretty badass assassin. I'm not gonna lie. She, she does too good it's just a movie overall is not that great it's not terrible but it's not great and i don't mm, she pretty much gets drugged with some sort of kind of radiation and she's trying to go and get her revenge and find out who drugged her well who poisoned her rather so she can you know just and she does do a lot of that there is a lot a lot of killing in here a lot of action it's just it wasn't fully executed great <laughs> um, but I do love the way that it looks the color there's a lot of like neon color uh, kind of colors uh, there is a teenage girl here she's annoying I mean she becomes useful later on but at the beginning she really did annoy me I don't know you guys we're gonna we're gonna put this one under you tried as well is it okay no I don't see myself rewatching it so you tried uh, up next is another Netflix uh, movie and that's going to be life of the after party you guys I don't even know the name of the movie it's one of Afterlife party? The afterlife party on there. I don't think I'm I'm reading that right. That doesn't show good for the movie either. Uh Victoria Justice um stars in this particular film and pretty much she dies a few days before or after her birthday. They kind of let her have the second chance of fixing those who she's left behind and see if she can, you know become a better person because she's very very much like a conceited side um i don't really remember it obviously i don't even know what the name of the movie is overall <laughs> we're just gonna see you try on that one as well so up next is going to be amazon primes everybody's talking about jamie this is another one that is a musical based on a true story and we are following jamie who is this high school uh boy who goal in life whose dream is to become a drag queen it is a really really good movie um I'm, it's not great or anything like that but it was um it was an okay movie we're gonna go ahead and put it there and okay the mom was super super supportive now moving back over to netflix we're gonna be talking about night books now this does star the wonderful Kristen riddle 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 jessica jones you guys it stars jessica jones you could almost say that night books is going to be this generation's like goosebumps so it does still have that kind of creepy tone and vibe to it where 
the kids, you know, maybe like a preteen will find creepy. They're following Alex and Yasmin, who are the two kids who get kidnapped by Natasha the witch, who's played by uh, uh, Kristen. And basically, she needs them to read scary stories. Could be a franchise, because the way that it ends, uh, that's what I'm saying, it could be the next, well, this generation's Goosebumps. This is definitely, I feel like, a family movie to watch with your little ones, especially if you are like a horror fanatic and you're trying to maybe get your kid into that horror love that you have and you want to at some point watch the scary movies with them. I think this is a nice little introduction type of movie where it still could give them those creepy vibes to it. It was an enjoyable movie and it was a, a really nice way to start off the spooky season. I definitely would recommend this one over witches. I was not a fan of witches from last year. The witch there at the end, you guys, is very, very creepy. So that's what I'm telling you. Your kid could get scared with it, and I feel like you will enjoy it as a parent. I just kind of had like that family you know tied together with a spooky little movie or generally if you're just not really into scary movies like i'm not like a huge scary movie person uh i mean i could do some scary movies i could do like slasher movies and stuff like that you know i've said that before and we'll get to that later on all right up next would be shang chi and legend of the tin rings and this is a new marvel movie it is absolutely great you guys i absolutely love it let me just go ahead and say it's i'm Awesome. Awesome. Almost, almost making it to my favorite of the year. Very, very close. This is definitely top tier Marvel for, for me. Are dealing with like martial arts here, which I really, really enjoy. I I just loved everything about it. I'm gonna go ahead and move back over to Netflix because y'all know we can't we can't go very far with Netflix, from Netflix. Um, and that's going to be worth. Um, this is actually based on a true story, so it's another true story on here. This is actually about what a human being is worth per the government's eyes. This is talking about the victims, those who were lost within the 9-11 attacks, compensating the families and trying to see again what an actual human being is worth and how much somebody should get. Should they get equal pay? Should some get higher because they are the CEO, Fortune 500, I don't know, whatever chingadera. Is their life at this point worth more than those who were the valet parkers, the janitors, the dishwashers? What about the people who risked their lives to go in, the, the, the first responders? And I also really like the way it was shot. I know some people probably wouldn't be here for it, but I, I enjoy this particular shot process i don't even know like i don't know technical words you guys it was a, a movie that for me kept going and it could get very emotional when you're hearing a lot of these people's stories this is a really really good movie i definitely recommend you checking this movie out especially if you do like based on true story movies i know some people love those type of movies or just if you like these 9-11 stories this is one of the better ones moving over to cannot say this damn name malignant no malignant malignant no malignant malignant damn it malignant right i think i said it that time oh my god i'm so brave i saw this movie you guys okay also as of october 2nd okay it's still on hbo max i think it has about another week on there i think it's supposed to come off of hbo max next sunday i think it is and then it's just gonna be in theaters and then of course for you to stream it as far as paying for it um on tv so you have a week to watch it you guys so this is like a horror slasher gory type of movie i pretty much still stay away from the reviews but i've been hearing little things here and there some people love it, some people hate it, there's people in between. I'm more on the in between, in between, in between like. Yeah, that's kind of where it was at. Uh, I was a little bit scared. I did do like a quick little review on it on Instagram, on my Instagram story, which by the time that this video comes up, that, that story's gonna be gone. Maybe I should have saved it and then like put it on my on my instagram uh feed it does have little creepy tones to it um i was hiding behind my pillow 
<laughs> as I was watching it um, more towards the beginning as we got further along I wasn't as scared anymore one thing that one of my friends said that I thought was really interesting that once we did find that twist it does kind of give it like this 80 horror vibe and I think I, I have to agree there's a lot of like blood and guts and stuff like that which I really really like because uh, like I said before I don't like demonic stuff I don't like um uh, possessions I don't like things to really like just like pop out at me and stuff like that like no I'm not about that life you guys now James Wong is the director for this movie and I haven't really seen a lot of his movies because he does a lot of horror like The Conjuring, Insidious, The Nun, um, the Saw, I've seen Saw, I'm not gonna lie I have seen Insidious because I, I did that one for like a fright night but I really didn't see it like I heard it because I was hiding behind my blanket because I get I'm not about that life but I'd be so brave sometimes. This movie right here, because I can't pronounce it, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. No, I enjoyed it. No. We'll leave it as good. It was a good movie that I enjoyed. <laughs> All right, guys. Last on my list would be Venom. Let There Be Carnage. Technically, I know that it officially came out on October the 1st, but it did have like a little release on September 30th, which is actually when I saw it. So that's why I'm incorporating within my September tier list. I did just do a review for it. It was a fun movie. I had a good time with it. It was way better than the first one because I really wasn't here for the first. Um, had a lot of action. Um, some of the humor lands, some of it doesn't. They're dealing more with like kind of a little bromance uh, between Brock and Venom. They put together for a hot minute. Um, we have this new introduction of Carnage. Um, basically Venom's like offspring or whatever and then we do have uh, Woody Harrison um, in this particular part which we knew he was going to be the villain from the ending of Venom part one you know um, during the end credit scene oh also in credit scene here must watch it's a great in credit uh, but the movie overall was an enjoyable movie I had a good time with it as well I, look it's so funny it's like a good time but enjoyable enjoyable and I had a good time uh, these are the movies that I saw in the month of September and how I personally rank them. Of course, my list is not the right list. It's just my list. Before you do click away though, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Did we happen to watch any of the same things? Do you agree or disagree where I placed it on my list? What did you watch differently from me? From me? From mine? As far as for my announcement, thankfully I remembered okay so for the month of October we are going to be doing 13 nights of fright again I had a lot of fun with it last year it was super super stressful because I literally decided to do it like a day or two before 13 nights was going to officially start but I have been watching some of these things and I will be recording those kind of like in bunches and you know having them pre-scheduled. I don't really think I'm going to be doing too many reviews. I think it's only going to be the uh, no Time to Die review. I was gonna rank the Daniel Craig 007 movies as well, but I only saw Casino Royale. I just haven't had a chance to watch any of the other ones. Dune does come out this month. I did want to do a first time watch for the original Dune, but again, I just didn't have a chance to watch it. You're probably only gonna be getting, as far as new movie releases, it's going to be the No Time to Die and Dune. Oh, and then also the After We Fell movie. That's not a blockbuster movie. Some of you are probably like, what the hell is that? That's from the After series. Um, I really, really love the books. I'm not a fan of the movies. But I have reviewed uh, part one and part two here on my channel. So I feel like I need to continue on with the tradition. So we will be having that one as well. Uh, but yeah, that is my announcement that we're going to be cooling it even more. <laughs> <laughs> kind of in a way because we are gonna have 13 consecutive videos coming your way that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye